Have you ever prayed and wished for something only to regret it after receiving it? People do it all the time with houses and cars. They really want the car and they really want the house, but when the first payment is due, there's always a little regret. Sin brings a similar reaction, although much worse. We talked last time about Romans chapter 1 and verse 26, where it says that God will allow us to make our choices. The principle of sowing and reaping ought to be something that we're aware of every day of our life. In the latter part of verse 26, and then in verse 27, Paul begins to explain the consequence of choosing to reject Jesus Christ. Look at what the Bible says in Romans chapter 1, verses 26 and 27. It says, for this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves the recompense of their error, which was meat. Anyone that chooses to reject God and what he offers, which is joy, peace, purpose, forgiveness, grace, the list could go on for a long time, will as a natural consequence receive what the world has to offer. What does the world offer? It tells us in verse 26, the world gives us an opportunity to act on the vile affections that already exist in each one of us. Some people call it having a free spirit, being your own person, sowing wild oats, but the fact is, the Bible calls it vile affections. Just as God comes through on his promises, the world, the flesh, and the devil will come through on their promises as well. God and the devil do have something in common in the fact that they both have something to offer you. It says in the last part of verse 27 that people receive the recompense of their error. That simply means that they will get what they want and will reap the consequence of their choice. The word error in verse 27 literally means a mental straying. When people let their mind fill with what the world has to offer, they begin to go down a very dangerous road. And when you search for what the world, the flesh, and the devil has to offer, you will always find what you're looking for. But there's a problem. You'll get what you want, but you'll lose what you could have had and what God had to offer. Oh yes, there's grace and forgiveness through the blood of Jesus Christ, and we praise the Lord for that. But there will be things that can never be the same once you choose to push God out of your lifestyle and out of your thinking. If there's something in your life today that is keeping you from fully experiencing what God has for you, it may seem like a small thing, but it will grow into something that you'll not be able to control. Lay that thing at the foot of the cross today and walk away free. It's possible because with God, all things are possible. Have a great day.